The fact that we're the only Catholic Christian university on the West Bank makes us quite unique. We unashamedly are a Catholic university to which Muslims feel comfortable in coming. And I think going back to Jean-Baptiste de La Salle, the uh, atmosphere, the relationships that we are attempting to build here are helping us to create that oasis of peace and that beacon of hope. In October 1973, 112 students walked onto the campus of Bethlehem University. Then as now, they were accompanied by the De La Salle Christian Brothers, who in the footsteps of their founding saint came to build the Kingdom of God through education. I think a chief virtue among our students is determination. We are only able to accept about one in three students, so those who are accepted I think know they have to measure up. In terms of our research initiatives, we're also doing things that we hope will support the people of Palestine. We also have a new master's program in pilgrimage and tourism because we think that this will be one way to contribute to the economic development of Palestine and a future Palestinian state. Perhaps one of the most concrete uh, evidences of the success of our students is that we have graduates who are currently in and have in the past been accepted into world-class masters and doctoral programs around the world, many of whom then come back and teach for us. Twelve times the university was forced to close because of the conflict. The longest closure lasted three years. Some professors continue to teach in secret. Staying here by being here, we're believable. If we, if we ran, then our message is lost. I came from New Zealand to Palestine, and in the time that I have been there, I'm finding it more and more difficult to see how peace can come. And yet there are other places in the world where peace seemed impossible, and yet it happened. South Africa, Northern Ireland, Germany, East Timor. And that, that is the hope that I hold on to, that somehow, beyond how I can see it can happen, peace will come to that land where Jesus walked. And when it does come, what Palestine is going to need are educated, resourceful, creative Palestinians. And that is why Bethlehem University is so important, because we are helping to create that pool of people who are going to make the new Palestine, who are going to help create that environment where it is possible for people to do what Jesus wanted, that is, to live life to the full about myself is that I'm not the same girl I was. When I came to Bethlehem University, the whole world around me has painted in one color, my color. My horizons were narrow and shallow. Now that has changed. Bethlehem University opened me to so many different ideas and attitudes. And attitudes. It gave me all I needed to be, who I want to be and more. It has trained my heart on peace. At Bethlehem University, I was turned into a living conscience and now feel so responsible to learn about and improve this world. Challenges remain, but the youth are taking the future in their hands. Since the first class of 112, over 14,000 students have now graduated from Bethlehem University. I keep coming back to John 10.10. 10. You know, I've come that you may have life and have it in its fullness. I've never worked in a place where it's so obvious that what we're doing is worthwhile. Just to see the pride that they had in having re reached that point, of having got to the point of graduating despite the hassles, despite the restrictions. I find it really satisfying to see students taking the opportunity here at Bethlehem University and really growing. One of the things Bethlehem University is doing is helping to build this nation. 
founded on truth, built on justice, animated by love.